Hi fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at Graphical Modeler in QGIS 3 and it's the second part. I recorded part one of this in August last year and so obviously I have lost my project. So I'm just going to add in some OS data here and that should appear. We'll bring that in and then I'm just going to apply the OS styles. You can see this video if you'd like to learn how to do that. It's just a little bit of Python code. And then we should be all set. We are going to travel by map to sunny Doncaster. <laughs> now I'm just going to grab the rail track out of these data and I'm going to select all of that bit of rail track. And what I'd like to do with that is export it. So I'm just going to export save selected features and I'll save it as an Esri shapefile. And I am going to save it wherever. I don't care. I'll call it I don't care. In the previous graphical modeler video, we made a model and I'll just open that up now. So I've got buffer workaround, open up that model. And that's one of the really cool things about models. It means that you can share your workflows with other people, perhaps in your organization or further afield. And really all this buffer model does is recreates the processing tool of buffers. It's not very exciting, but you can chain tools together and that's much more exciting. So I'm going to put in a distance of 50 segments. I'll just ramp that up to 50 as well. And I will not create a temporary layer. I'm going to save that to a file. And I'll save it in the same spot and call it my buffer. There we go. Now I'm saving these wherever. There we are. We've got a nice buffer there. Doesn't look very pretty, but that's not the point of this video. We have our buffer in place and we have all of these files in here as well. Currently these are all shape files and currently our project is saved somewhere too. So things are all over the place and this is terrible data management. Don't do this at home. Now recently I did an online course that was hosted by Ujival from Spatial Thoughts. Do go and check out his website and try some of his courses. It was really good came out over Zoom and worked really well uh, for these current strange times. And I picked up a couple of things there that I thought were really awesome. So I wanted to share them with you. First of all, we've got this package tool. So if I go into my processing toolbox and go to package layers, open up this tool, what would I like to use as my input? I am gonna select all the layers in my current project. Do I want to overwrite an existing geo package? No, I'm going to make a new one. And do I want to save the layer styles? Yes, of course I do. That means everything's together. So I am going to save to file and I'll go into demo and I'm just gonna call this my package and save that. Run it and off it goes. Everything is being bundled together in one geo package. Now this is very, very useful, but we have got a couple of other elements that are not included in there. And that is our project file itself and also the model. So that took a little while to run because I do have quite large layers and quite a lot of data to bang into that geo package, but that's completed now, so that's good. So I'll close that down and then I'd like to get my model in that geo package as well. So if I go back to where my model is, the buffer workaround, and I'm going to edit that model. And up here, we can save the model into the project. So I'm going to save that into our project and that is currently saved inside our project. Excellent. Now we can see that we have an extra thing in our processing toolbox called project models. Great, so that's saved to our project file. But what about the project itself? Well, if we go up to project and we go save to, and I'm gonna save this to a geo package, can you guess which geo package we are going to use? It's not really a quiz. We are of course going to use the project package that I just created, and that'll be my package.jpkg. 
I'm going to open that up, create a new connection to it, and the project itself. What should we call this project? My packaged project. Or actually, let's call it packaged a lot, which is what it is currently called. And I'm going to OK that. I think I spelled that wrong, but hey ho. All right, so we've saved everything into there. Now, if I check out in my browser panel, I'm just going to go to where I saved that, which will be down here, my package geo package open that up you can see that we've got all the layers in here and there is our project file as well complete with the spelling error superb and a reminder as to why this is so useful if we go to my folder where I saved it you can see that I've got my geo package there and it is a single file I can select this I can copy it I can email it to someone. It is one file. It's got the project file in there. It's got all the layers, all the styles, and it's got my model as well. Brilliant. I did not know this before doing Ujjabal's course, so do again go and check out Spatial Thoughts. Doing a Zoom course was quite eye-opening, and so I am running my own Zoom course as well. You can see a trailer video for it here. And you can sign up for it on the website. If you don't want to come along to the Zoom course, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with any questions. In fact, do that even if you come into the Zoom course. And don't forget, happy mapping.